This video is sponsored by Wingfox. Wingfox is an online platform where you can learn tons of 3D softwares. Now, just in case you're looking for cool stuff that you like to learn in terms of motion graphics, or maybe you want to level up your skills in modeling, animation, sculpting, and all that, Wingfox is a very good place that you can find some amazing content. Right now, they do have a 59% sale off for Beautiful Concept course, which is the Cat Saga. And in case you're looking for ways to create advanced 3D concept art, you will definitely find this one very interesting. Now, going from workflows to things that you'll be able to achieve in this course, there are tons of content and also lots of resources that can get you up to speed. So in terms of concept art, all the way to character blocking, adding details, sculpting, and down to where you can do all of your UVs, hair, and also rendering, you have everything simply covered. Now for anyone who's looking for ways to create advanced 3D concept models and also create advanced 3D art, the 90 hour plus course is something that you should probably take a look at. Link to this is definitely going to be in the description, so do well to check that out. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at a pretty cool add-on. This is a free add-on that you can get and it's made available by Samuel, but popularly known as Pool USB. Now, if you go over to his GitHub, you'll be able to download this. And for sure, we've seen a couple of add-ons for Blender for a very, very long time. But this is like the first time we're getting to see a timeline based add-on. Now, this is known as the viewport timeline scrub and the name simply defines what it does. So for you to get this, you need to simply go over to the link in the description, download this, and then you need to fire this up directly in Blender. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is once you install this or, you know, you add this to your add-ons, you will be able to notice that it has a shortcut key, which at the point of recording this right now, you cannot really change it. You also notice that you have the frame interval that you can see on screen and you can also change the colors. Now, if you want to be able to show the timeline, the current frame you're working on, you know, whatever you want to show, you can actually take a look at this. So with this set, let's fire up Blender and take a look at some of the things that you can do with it. Meanwhile, if you take a look at the screen, you would notice that I've been playing with this for a couple of minutes. This simply solves that tiny problem of going down here and doing this. As simple as it is, this would save some time. Now, some of the things about this that is pretty nice is once you press your F5 on the keyboard, you can tell where your playhead is and you can actually visualize where your, you know, your keyframes are. So this is very nice. And there is a plus sign that simply adds up the values that you're having. So if you're coming from a point like this, you can tell, you can see the smaller version, you can see the bigger one. And you can see we have this uh, very nice stuff going on right here. So for those who like to preview stuff real quick, you want to be able to see where these things are. And this is actually attached to wherever your mouse is. So wherever your mouse is on screen, you can just simply press F5 and you'll be able to scroll through. So if I close this and pop this open as well, you would also notice that we have another one. So we have this motion, which we've also gone ahead to make. You can see we have these motions and we did this directly here in Grease Pencil. You might be asking if this only works with Grease Pencil. No, it doesn't only work with Grease Pencil. Now there are certain things about this add-on I would have loved to see. I know it's free, but you know, I would have still loved to see those things. Things like making quick keyframes, all right? So if I press the F5 button, I should be able to maybe right click to add a keyframe or middle mouse to add a keyframe. Something like that, I guess that might be quite cool to see. And also the simple fact that I cannot change the hotkey is actually something that's a little bit interesting. So at this point, I can change the hotkey. So I tried a couple of times trying to see if I can change it. That doesn't work. But regardless of that, you can literally use this thing to preview your entire shot. So imagine having about, let's say 4,000, 5,000 keyframes, 3,000, 2,000 keyframes, one minute animation, maybe 1,440 frames. And you want to scrub through to just make Make sure that you have that exact point of, of stuff that you're looking for instead of going down here and scrubbing through or you know dragging this all the way out and start stretching these back and forth just to be able to see some stuff you know this would come quite handy so you can just press f5 on the keyboard and just go all the way to the point now in case you want to also increase this like we've talked about you can also choose to increase this for this animation let's say we have this frame right here and then we'll move this over to frame 40. actually let's move this to frame 40 right there and then go over to 120 and bring this right over here all right so 
if I press the F5 button right here, I can be able to preview this. So we have this preview going on from there all the way to this point. Now, I know some of you guys will be like, oh, you cannot see the whole thing. How you can see the whole thing is if you click on edit, go over to preference. Let's drag that bad boy here and type the word time because, you know, it's within the timeline. So what we can do here is we can change the frame interval on screen and probably let's set this to one. Now, if we set this to one and close this, what would happen is once we go back and press F5 on the keyboard, we will be able to see these things even way more. So if you want to make changes, it's uh, quite interesting how the changes work. So you kind of think that, you know, once you put more numbers, you get more, but the reverse is the case at this point. So for example, if we go ahead and put something like uh, 350 and close that and press F5 on the keyboard, you see we have a very, very distance frames. And if you would like to see more, you can simply go back here, go all the way down over here, and then we can change this to about five, half of what we had earlier. And now if I press F5 on the keyboard, we'll be able to preview this even way better. Now, I know some of you guys might also be asking of what benefit is this, especially if you have a very small display or you don't really have enough real estate on your screen, you might actually find these uh, quite interesting. And for the fact that someone took his or her time to create this stuff, it's just something I found interesting and you know, I felt it was worthy of giving a very cool shout out to. So you guys can actually go over to the link in the description, grab this, play with it, bug the hell out of it, and also help the developer make this cooler. And of course, I would like to see some more updates come over to this too. And I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.